didn't you tell me you were there? Hey guys, it's Chevy here and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be renewing this rocking chair that I got from the thrift store. Um, I spent $50 on it and it took me right around three days for me to do it. And it was a lot longer than I thought that I was going to take, but it's all good. I really, really love, love, love the results. So it's all good. Um, I'm actually, I actually renewed it for my nursery that is going to be finished in like three days or so. I just started on it today. It's a whole video. So come back in like a week or so and watch it or, you know, <laughs> subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so you can get notified when I post it. <laughs> anyway if y'all want to see how i created this masterpiece this is what it looked like before and this is what it looks like after so if you want to see how i did it just keep on watching Hey guys, so I'm at this little cute, cute thrift shop and I found the cutest little lamp. I'm gonna go back and find it for you because I just be walking around here. There's so much stuff, holy crap. I'm like just amazed and I found this rocking chair. Hold on, I know I said I was gonna go to the lamp, but let's go to the rocking chair. Like, <laughs> look at this, guys. Definitely something that I can refurbish. And I know I wanted a rocking chair. Oh my God, but look how beautiful it is. I'm gonna get it. Good morning, guys. How are we doing today? So right now I'm about to go to Lowe's. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of stuff. Obviously y'all saw I got that awesome rocking chair from the thrift store. Um, I'm gonna be getting a lot of stuff today from Lowe's. Hopefully I won't be gone too long. Right now it is 8.30, so I should be back. Hopefully by like 9.15, 9.30, please God. <laughs> um, but hopefully I don't take all day with this project. I have this thing where if I get started with something, I absolutely have to finish it. So I know that's going to drive me crazy because I know it's not a one day project. So with all that being said, let's go on ahead. We're going to head into Lowe's and I'm going to see you all in just a second. Uh, oh, excuse <laughs> Y'all, I am so shocked. It is 9.16. How did I do that? Oh my gosh, that is crazy. I actually put like three more things that I didn't even have on my list in my cart and I ended up going like $50 over budget. So that was annoying. But I think I have everything that I need. I'm so excited to get back home and get started. And sorry about my stained shirt, y'all. I obviously wanted to wear something that wouldn't be affected by all of this stuff that I'm doing today. So let's get on the road and we're gonna head back home. So guys, I'm just gonna give you a quick little overview of what the chair looked like before. I'm just making sure to show you all of the scratches, the damages, the paint that's peeling and all that jazz um, and by the way guys this is my very very first time trying to renew a piece of furniture so if I do something wrong don't judge me okay it's my first time <laughs> So as you can see, all of the spindles actually are um, moving and they're not secure. Um, I'm just going to be testing out the parts of the um, rocking chair to see if anything else is moving or loose. I'm going to turn it upside down and I'm going to do the same. So to go ahead and secure the spindles, I'm going to be using some original wood glue. I'm actually going to be pulling the spindles up, putting the wood glue inside, and then making sure I get it in all of the crevices. I'm actually using this little foam brush too that I got from Lowe's, but it didn't really work so well for me as much as my fingers did. So I only used this like a couple of times and then I just resorted to my finger. 
Um, after I did that, I made sure I cleaned up the excess glue just because I don't want it to dry and then clean it up. I want it to just clean up right now. So now that I have glued the spindles in place, I'm going to go in with this huge clamp that I got from Lowe's as well and make sure that that is being held tight. I'm going to put this on here for 24 hours just to make sure that it is secure. It ain't going nowhere. So next I'm going to go in with this paint stripper here. Um, I really like this one because it's sprayable and the fumes are not very strong. Um, I also like that it lasts up to 24 hours. However, I would not leave it on for more than like 20-30 minutes. I found that it actually makes it like 10 times harder to get the paint off. Alright guys, so this is what we're looking like after the paint thinner has sat for about, it's been about 25-ish, 30 minutes. I'm going to let it sit for a little bit longer. And the paint thinner I used is actually good for 24 hours, so you could wait on it if you wanted. But I'm not a patient person, as you know. <laughs> so I am going to go ahead and grab my little tool in just a few minutes and take off all of the paint and i tried not to <clears throat> i tried not to get any paint thinner like right there and right there and right there where i had applied the glue because i still have a clamp on there just making sure that it's fully secured before i even try and <laughs> to touch that with anything So this is where we're at right now. I did most of the paint, took most of the paint off. As you can see, there's still a lot left over. So I'm gonna actually run back to Lowe's. Oh. Lamp's still on there as well. I'm gonna go right back to Lowe's and I'm gonna get another paint scraper because the one I got is super cheap and it's practically like, I'm not falling apart so that's just a heads up for you guys whenever you get your uh, whenever you grab yours make sure you get one that's actually sturdy don't go like me or be like me and be a little cheap steak because 
Anyway, so I'm gonna head out to Lowe's and I'll be right back. I think I really underestimated how long this was gonna take because it is now 1.48 in the afternoon and I'm on my way back to Lowe's to go get another um, paint remover tool. And I don't know, y'all, I hope this doesn't take all day. I really do, because I'm already tired. I'm also gonna stop and get some McDonald's because I really am craving some french fries right now. Oh, pregnancy cravings are my favorite, actually, because, <laughs> I mean, it's a reason to get everything that you want to eat. Anyway, so after I leave Lowe's and I go get some french fries, I will hit y'all back up again whenever I get back home hopefully uh, hopefully I do this until like five or six o'clock because I already want to go back to bed I really do <laughs> like I should be a low-key vlogger because I'm having way too much fun talking to my camera today I think y'all have seen me like at least 10 million thousand times <laughs> um, but I got two different scrapers which I should have done in the first place one is a little bit larger and then the other one it's smaller to get into the small spaces of the rocking chair. Oh, there we go. Whew. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna show you what I got real quick because as soon as I get home, I'm gonna eat my french fries and you're not gonna hear from me again. <laughs> okay, so I got this one right here. Let me show you. So I got this one right here. I feel like that'll be a good one for the big spots and then I got this one for the little tiny spots good idea right yep <laughs> okay guys so as you can see I kind of coated it a lot heavier this time just to make sure that I get those tough tough spots I'm sure. oh, see. <sighs> turn you around definitely see back here I went super super hard because I'm not trying to be doing this for 10 years <laughs> right okay y'all so how about man I should have just started out with this I just did half of this chair that I um, shoot my hands are so gross I can't even touch my camera <laughs> um, I just did half of this small freaking uh, paint and it came off so easy with this tool, you <laughs> I wasted so much time. I'm gonna show y'all real quick. Look at it. Look at that. What the hell? Look, what the? Just cause I can't hold it right now. <laughs> but look how easy that's coming off, y'all. Oh my God, I wasted so much time. Uh, oh my God, definitely go ahead and get this. Before you even get that cheapo thing I was using. <laughs> what even was that? Like, wow. Like, wow. I'm shocked. So I finished taking off all of the paint. And this is the outcome. I'm not doing anything else tonight. I'm actually gonna stop right here and maybe go make some dinner, take a shower and all that jazz. I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning guys. So it's officially the next day. Um, it is 8.13 in the morning. So I got a little bit more of a, a earlier head start than I did yesterday. So as you know, I'm gonna go ahead and make a trip to, uh, to Lowe's really quick and grab a, I want to get a better sander and I actually want to get like a, I don't know, like a sanding block maybe or like something to move the sandpaper because this motion here wasn't doing it for me, okay? Um, but I'm going to try and see if I can get a better sandpaper and then I want to try and see if I can get some more rags because I'm out of those and I think that's all I have to get hopefully and I will not be back, please, not today. I'm ready to be finished with this project and see... Um, the results. So here we go. We're on our way to Lowe's. Let's go. All right, guys. So I am about to leave Lowe's. I got what I needed and I was in and out of there in literally 10 minutes. I am blown away. Okay. But I got 
what I needed, I think. Okay, so I got the rags. I got, <laughs> got 12 of them. <laughs> and then I got this sandpaper here. This one is in medium. So I'm gonna use that one first. And then this one is, I got a shit ton of these. I don't know why. Probably never gonna use them again. This one is an extra fine. So I'm gonna use this one first and then that one. So let us get on the road, folks. I hope to not be doing this until 6 p.m. like I was yesterday. But if it happens, it happens. I really want to get this chair done for the nursery. So, yeah, let's just hop on in, guys. Come on, we're going to go home. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, guys, since it's been over 24 hours, I'm going to go ahead and remove the clamp and see what we got with the spindles. go ahead and start sanding I'm gonna be using the medium sandpaper starting on the arm here and you can kind of see how the paint is coming off it's like literally right before your eyes becoming smoother and smoother it's my favorite part <laughs> jumping right in with the extra fine just to buff out what we just sandpapered So I'm going to go ahead and wipe off all of the sandpaper dust um, before I go in and treat the wood with my wood conditioner. <laughs> did y'all know that was a thing? Because I did it. <laughs> so with wood conditioner, you want to wipe on the conditioner on the wood and then let it sit for, I think it said 15-20 minutes and then wipe it right on off. It's not going to come off, you know, but you just wipe it off anyway. <laughs> like I said, <laughs> I ain't never heard of wood conditioner. <laughs> So the stain I'm going to be using is this bad boy. I actually obviously did not like this color. It is so ugly to me. <laughs> Labors wanted to try like a white color first and it was a no go. It was just not. Nah, it was so ugly. So I immediately wiped it right on off and I went back in with the stain that I used to um, do my palette bed frame which I think it was in ebony look how much better that looks I love that so I'm just gonna use my little rag here and I'm just gonna cover um, the entirety of the rocking chair with this color in ebony
Okay guys, so this is what we are looking like. I'm so impressed. You can kind of still see like that bird imprint right there, which I don't know how to get out. I don't know, maybe if um, when this dries and I add another coat, it'll magically disappear. I don't know, but this is what we're looking like so far. I think I got everywhere with the, with the stain. I had an idea that I was going to put maybe his initials, the baby's initials right here. I was gonna paint it. What do you think? But I'm just gonna let this sit and dry for about, um, I can't remember how long it said to let it sit and dry, but probably like, like 30 minutes to an hour. And then I'm gonna add that second coat and then I'm going to add the um, gloss on it or semi-gloss. I forgot which one I got, but it looks, so good so far. I'm so impressed. Second coat is done. So here's how we're looking. We're looking so far. The bird is still on there. <laughs> I don't know what I can do to get rid of you, pal, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's where we'll add um, our baby's initials. Um, but everything's looking really good. I'm super pleased. So we're gonna wait for this to dry, and I think I'm gonna wait like some hours. <laughs> Guys, we are officially dried. Um, I let this bad boy sit overnight and I kind of just woke up. It's about 8 um, 45, something like that. But it's super dry, as you can see, and it's so soft, y'all. I'm so shocked. <laughs> it's so smooth, and it just looks so amazing. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and put some polish on there, some gloss. And I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so tired. I'm exhausted. <laughs> it took everything in the world for me to get out of bed today, and I'm actually, my body is so sore. Um, but I did it because I'm ready to get this done. It's the third day, so yeah. But I'm gonna go ahead and put some gloss on there and let's see, let me grab that. I'm gonna be using this bad boy. And then I'm gonna let it sit for like three hours or so. And then I'm gonna put another coat on there. So let's get started. Um, just a quick tip for you. Uh, I went in really, really heavy with this polish and I feel like it made it one harder to dry and it also left like little um, drippies everywhere. Not everywhere, but on the top and I'm going to show you later on what I mean. But whenever you're going in with your gloss or your semi-gloss, just go maybe a little lighter than I am because I am killing it right now. <laughs> So I've just finished putting on the first coat of the gloss 
as you can see, it's glossy, <laughs> this job. I am actually, before I put on the second coat, I'm gonna um, sand it again with some fine sandpaper. Just because I reread the, the instructions and it says to do that anyway. But I realized right here, there's some drippage. Um, and it's, I don't know if you can see that, the light is super bright. Let me turn it. So there's some drippage there and I just don't like how that looks. So I'm gonna sand it out and then I'm gonna re, um, redo it again for the second time, recoat it again for the second time. So it should look a lot better afterwards. But it looks pretty good so far, I'm not gonna lie. It looks really, really beautiful. Like I bought it like that. <laughs> and I don't know if I mentioned it already guys, but this rocking chair was $50 at my thrift store. So, definitely a good price. Okay, so we are on our second coat and I'm actually going to be coating everything except for where I said I was going to put the baby's initials. I'm actually going to go um, and paint his initials with some acrylic paint and then I'm going to go over it with the gloss. Okay, so y'all, I'm not an artist, okay? So don't you dare judge me. <laughs> I'm gonna try and make the L's look as similar as possible, but it was really, really difficult for me to do it. Um, but these letters are monogrammed, and I don't know if you know how to do monograms, but I had to actually look these up and Google them. The last name, whenever there's three initials, will always be in the middle. So the left is the first name, the right is the la or the middle name, and then the middle is the last name. Interesting. Okay, so I'm going to be finally adding the second coat to the top here, um, making sure to seal in the acrylic letters and making sure that it's not going to go anywhere, it's not going to strip, it's not going to rub off or anything like that. So there's a little bit of gold paint right here down by the spindles. Whoopsies, I accidentally dropped my paintbrush um, and I didn't even notice that it left paint on there until after it was already dried. But it's okay because it's just going to be sitting in my room. Um, if I was like making this for someone else to sell it or something, which I don't think I'd ever do, then it would be something like a problem, but it's just, it's mine. So I'm not worried about it. Um, but y'all, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed it and I will see y'all in my next video, which will be posted in about a week. Make sure you're back.